so guys today we are going to talk about parallel accounting and accounts and ledger approach used for parallel accounting so basically all the financial data is stored in ledgers so there are two types of ledgers defined in sap leading and non leading ledger so let's go and in the system and define leading and non leading ledger so we go to spro global setting ledgers so before doing to ledgers we define accounting principles for our company so ifrs is all already defined ifrs we maintain another one test testing accounting principle This is defined. Let's go to ledgers and define non leading ledger. Leading ledger is already defined by our system, so by default it is 0 and this is the leading ledger. So let's create another one TT testing ledger this is non leading ledger so this save already exists t1 we are creating t1 testing ledger so for non leading ledger we have to uncheck this ledger group is already created so we have to uncheck this option so let's go and define for our company so for our company which is zero one so our fiscal year is the sun fiscal year variant and posting period is and posting period variant so we are maintaining different accounting principles for different account ledgers so there are two types of approaches used for parallel accounting so basically in parallel accounting we are maintaining two different sets of accounts and then we maintain these set of accounts based on different types of accounting principle used by our company like uh, our head, head office is, is in us so for us we are reporting on the basis of us cap but in pakistan which is subsidiary company of us so in pakistan we are using ifrs so based on ifrs we we are maintaining our books of accounts so two types of approaches use ledger approach and accounts approach in the ledger approach we are using two different ledgers for different accounting principles but in the accounts approach we are using two different gl accounts those are posted on the basis of different accounting principle so we are configuring to both the approaches but ledger approach is recommended by sap so our ledger is created which is non-leading ledger so here we can maintain multiple currencies let's go and check out this in this screen we can maintain multiple currencies so we have already discussed about multiple currencies so for this we are using test t1 this is our ledger but our accounting principle is test testing accounting principle so we are maintaining test accounting principle for our non-leading ledger 
but for leading ledger we are using ifrs so let's go and define this 0l save this So this is the leading ledger. So go to company code settings. Go to our company code HA01. So for this, we are maintaining IFRS. So here is already defined. So this is the ledger based approach. For account based approach, let's go and maintain another one test so we are using same general ledger but two different accounts are used so for this we have to check in the company code that we are using parallel accounting using GL accounts we have to check this so we are maintaining two different accounting principle in two different general ledger accounts this is accounts based approach so we have to check this option for this you can see two different accounting principles are assigned to only one ledger two different principles are assigned to one ledger if we are posting only uh, for specific ledgers we have to use transaction fb01 l for this we are maintaining our ledger group here so for our case it is t1 t1 if we are posting to t1 only t1 this is our testing ledger so this is our ledger group so if we are posting for only any specific ledger we have to maintain this for posting financial entry so that's all for parallel accounting ledger account space and ledger based approach